Good afternoon. Today, AMA has suspended the national electricity market. This decision was made because it was impossible to operate the system under current conditions while ensuring reliable, secure supply of electricity to Australian homes and businesses. By suspending the market, we're creating a simple process where AMO has true visibility of which generators are available and when in advance, rather than relying on last minute interventions. That visibility will help us to uh, manage the system in real time, as well as to understand the balance of supply and demand <clears throat> in the periods ahead. <clears throat> Despite this, conditions remain tight in the coming days, in particular in New South Wales, where we would urge consumers to conserve energy where it is safe to do so. The suspension of the market is a temporary measure and will be reviewed daily. We'll return the market to its normal state once AMO is confident that we can operate the market again and not see generators withdraw their availability. Practically, this means we're creating one single place where generators can put their availability, be dispatched in a methodical way, and have a simple, clear process for them to recover their costs. Prior to suspending the market today, AMO had issued over 5,000 megawatts of directions, and that's roughly 20% of demand. And it is simply not possible to continue to operate the market in this way. These actions today, we're confident, uh, will deliver the best outcome for Australian consumers. Thank you. How long do you envisage the suspension to last for? Days or weeks? Or? So we'll reinstate the market once we're confident that it, we're able to operate it. Um, we'll have to reevaluate that on a daily basis. How long do you we suspended the market in uh, Tasmania and in South Australia last year, so it is a, a process that is um, familiar to market participants. And this would be the first time ever it's been done nationally? This is the first time it's been done nationally. How does it come to this? <laughs> how, would it, how would we say this is the best possible option to suspend the market? It's a confluence of factors at the moment. What we've seen is a large amount of generators have withdrawn their availability from the, uh, from the national electricity market. Uh, they're facing higher costs. Um, we've faced high demand profiles uh, due to the cold weather. Um, input costs have increased due to international factors. Uh, we've had uh, a few transmission line outages, etc. Uh, and then, uh, which has resulted in a, a price cap. Um, since that price cap was implemented, we've seen a number of generators withdraw their availability from the market, which has led to it being impossible for us to operate. Is that a cynical move on their part, just trying to get more money by being directed by Yeah, no, you'd have to ask them. Will generators still be compensated if they're directed to supply? By suspending the market, we're creating a simple process for generators to put in their availability, be dispatched in a simple and methodical way, and have a clear process to recover their costs. Can you just explain what the suspension of the, of the market means? Does it mean that someone watching at the moment they can, can guarantee them that they'll be able to turn on their lights tonight? What does it actually mean for the jungle hours? It means that AMO is taking control of the market to make sure that we have clear visibility on which generators are available and when in advance ahead of time so that we can most accurately, one, operate the system in real time and two, have clear visibility on the supply and demand balance in the periods ahead. Despite that visibility, I would say we are facing tight periods ahead, particularly in New South Wales. Given you do have the power to ensure supply and cap the wholesale price, is it the right we're, we're operating under that condition now where the price is capped and generators are withdrawing their availability and requiring AMO to issue directions. The, uh, that operation is not sustainable for us and uh, we've taken the decision to suspend the market so that we can have one clear place for generators to put their availability and for us to dispatch them in a clear and methodical way and for them to recover their costs in a simple and known process. Is, is there a compensation mechanism that's going to be in place like, for the energy companies? 
Yes, uh, there is available on the AMO website uh, the, um, uh, a pricing schedule for a suspended market and uh, that is frankly a, a fair reflection of generators' costs. If generators believe that their costs are in excess of that price, they have the ability to sub make a submission to AMO and we would assess those on the basis of the facts that they provide to us. And is this a sign that the national electricity I think what we're seeing is very challenging times um, and right now um, it would seem that the market is not able to deal with all of the factors that are thrown at it but frankly those factors are quite extreme uh, ranging from the generators that are both planned and unplanned outages, very high demand, uh, there's a, a, a confluence of factors in there. Can you repeat the question? Will consumers have to pay more for their electricity if coal sailors don't get the compensation they want? Well, what we're creating today is a, a secure electricity system where we're able to manage supply and demand in real time and have visibility on the, any gaps in between supply and demand uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, that is the best way for Australian homes and businesses to be sure that the lights will go on uh, when they flick the switch. But does this absolutely guarantee there won't be more power? Well, as I said, there is a, uh, a variety of factors um, affecting the Australian electricity system at the moment. Supply and demand is tight, in particular in New South Wales, where we would urge customers in New South Wales to conserve energy this evening if it is safe to do so. But does this mean that prices will go up for there are a number of factors that go into price, which I'm not going to speculate on here. What I'm uh, focused on today is making sure that we have safe, reliable energy for consumers throughout Australia. Well, this means that consumers could be paying more for their electricity, is that correct? Under the market suspension rules, we have issued, we work off uh, a pricing schedule which is reflective of prices over the trailing period. So generators are, um, will be receiving compensation based on prices over the past month, I think it is. John, we have to check that. Um, so it is, it's not true to say that prices will go up under, a whole, under this market suspension mechanism. But does that depend on the generators acting well, we would urge all generators, as we have done previously, to, um, to act in good faith and to bid into the market. By, create, by suspending the market, what we're creating is one simple place where generators should put all of their availability and be dispatched in a simple, methodical way and have their costs recovered in a process that they're familiar with. Well, Say again, sorry. Well, we'll restart the market once we um, are confident that the market will operate. Um, what we're doing today is suspending the market because uh, we see that it is impossible to operate the market under current circumstances. And we'll reassess that every day uh, once we're confident that we can operate it and not see generators withdrawing their uh, availability, then we'll restart the market. When you say Let me be really clear, I'm only urging consumers in New South Wales to conserve their energy this evening if it is safe to do so. What we see in the supply demand balance in New South Wales because of a shortfall in generation um, is that supply and demand is tight. Uh, so what penalties will there be for generators that don't act in good during the suspension period? Yeah, you'd have to ask the regulator. So uh, I'm not going to speculate on, uh, on, on that at all. What I'm saying is that we've suspended the market today to create a clear, simple process for generators to follow, to bid in their availability, be dispatched in a methodical way and to have their costs reimbursed uh, in a known, uh, clear process. Do you have any conversations with the regulator? Do you have any yes, of course. Well, I'm not going to speak for them.
There's a way in which code, um, code generators are breaking down simply because they aren't equipped to deal with this kind of pressure that we see at the moment. We'd have to ask the generators that. I mean, uh, what we're seeing is a number of both planned and unplanned outages. Um, the unplanned outages, uh, I mean, the, the fact is many of our coal-fired generators are getting towards the end of their life. Uh, they're facing pressures and, uh, and reliability is slowly declining. So should New South Wales brace for blackouts and there any other states that should do the same or is it just New South Wales you're concerned? What I'm saying right now is that in New South Wales, we are in, in particular in New South Wales, we're concerned about the supply and demand balance for this evening um, and potentially tomorrow. And we would urge consumers in New South Wales only um, to conserve energy where it's safe to do so. Is that because you're worried about blackouts in New South Wales specifically? We're doing everything we can to make sure that we have sufficient generation on tap to meet supply. Two more. Two more. Um, <coughs> Sorry, could this have been avoided if the $300 per megawatt hour cap was higher? This scenario is a confluence of factors. We'll have to get into exactly um, how we got into this scenario in the days ahead. Was the price cap too lax, considering how the market's changed? That could be one reason, and I'm sure that there are others, including the, the, the effect of international prices on gas, on coal, uh, availability of coal plants, yes, there's there's a whole number of factors. Is it in the short term to stop uh, coal generators from exiting the market earlier because we We'll always need to make sure that Australian homes and businesses have sufficient electricity supply to meet our needs. Was this, was this suspension supported by the state's energy ministers? This decision was taken by AEMO and you'd have to ask each state whether they support it. Uh, we have provided, um, uh, I am personally in contact with and AEMO is in contact with states at the ministerial level and the department level to be transparent on the way that we're thinking about managing these situations. My understanding is that they support this. How do we fix this? Because it looks like all the last couple of decades, the globalisation of the electricity market nationally has been a complete disaster. How do we make sure this kind of thing? Electricity is a basic need for this, for this country and this economy. How do we not get to this situation again? Yeah, I think that's a question for policymakers, not me. It's a it's a policy question. I mean, what I'm focused on today is making sure that we've got sufficient electricity to meet customers' needs in Australia. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.